just got smoked on the bluefish. Woo! Dude. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. First time y'all have seen me out on the beach in quite a while. We're meeting up with the man yakking with Jack and uh, we're gonna do a little beach fishing this morning. I already got three rods out. I'm about to show y'all exactly what we're working with. Just trying to wait on the sun to come up a little bit to film this intro. But got three rods out. We are gonna throw out a shark rig here in a minute, waiting on Jack to get here with some shark bait. And uh, main objective is shark on the beach. Second objective is take something home for dinner. Haven't ate pompano or whiting in quite a while, because again, haven't been out here in quite a while. So just gonna see what all we can get into. After this hurricane we've had last week, everything's kind of cooled down, water temps have cooled down. Pompano bite has been decent. And uh, I don't think I've actually beach fished probably since the spring. It's been a minute, so. We're gonna see if we're able to get on something today. See if we can find us some pompano, maybe some whiting. But main objective again is a shark on the beach, which is always a good time. So we're gonna see what all we can get into here today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you have not already. I don't beach fish a ton. If you do like the beach fishing, comment down below and let me know. But I kind of bounce around, do a lot of pier fishing, uh, do some offshore fishing, uh, just kind of a little bit of everything saltwater wise. But we, uh, we may have something big, 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 really big coming here in the future. We're, uh, we're still working on some things. Not, don't want to talk about it yet until we know for sure that something's going to happen. But as soon as it happens, I will definitely let y'all know. And the content is going to get a little crazy. But uh, I'll keep you updated on that. We may have something going on here. Super slack line. Oh yeah. Y'all might have saw that hit behind me while I was talking. We got a fish on. This is on our little whiting setup. Super light. Let's see what we got here, baby. Oh, it's a little jack. Not the little jack we're fishing with. Little Jack Creval. They're both little. They're both Jack. This little fella is actually decent little shark bait. So I'm gonna save this little guy and uh, maybe use him for some shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more bait back out. Y'all stay tuned for some updates on some big news coming. But we're gonna get to fishing. Try to take something home for dinner. Do it. All right, y'all. First time fishing the beach in quite a while. We uh, we got some fresh dead shrimp from Beach Bum Outdoors, Salty's Pompano rigs, and uh, we got some rough surf out there. A little rougher than it was supposed to be. Wind is absolutely howling straight out of the south. We got the old 10 foot travel rod here. First time set rig fishing with the travel rod. Throw out a pompano rig. The drag set right. I really need some Sputnik weights today. I don't know if I have any. Yakking with Jack is coming running late as usual he may have some if we need them all right guys today's video is sponsored by aura in today's world your personal information is more vulnerable than ever i'm sure many of you get them all the time there are email scans left and right and every single click you make on the internet put your information at risk in 2022 alone there was over 10 billion dollars in online scams which is absolutely insane if you're not already taking precautions to protect your data, I highly recommend you do so now. Aura is gonna have 24 seven monitoring of your personal information that is on the web. And almost every American social security number was recently leaked in a data breach. 
You can go to my link down in the description aura.com forward slash bearded brad and you will get a 14 day free trial. That'll give them plenty of time to scan all of your data and let you know if there's anything that you need to worry about. They do also have up to $5 million in coverage if in the worst case scenario, some of your information is stolen. So make sure you head on over to the link down below in the description aura.com forward slash bearded brad. Make sure you protect yourself and your loved ones. Let's get back to fishing. Get a second pompano rig out here. This rig has been tied on this rod for a long time. Hook's probably rusted. I have some really old fish gum, some really old fish bites. Oh, oh, we're getting hit, we're getting hit. First fish of the morning here. All right. It, uh, Feels a little catfishy. Not exactly what we want. Let's see if it is or not. It also could be a whiting. It feels maybe a little whiting ish. Anything but a catfish, baby. Let's see what we got first thing this morning. Oh, he's starting to fight. Oh, did he just pop off? It popped off right at the beach. He started fighting right here at the beach. Came off. Dang it. We blew that one, y'all. Get another piece of shrimp on here. Send her right back out there. I was going to attempt to cut up a piece of uh, old nasty dried out fish bites. Get a piece of shrimp here. So that rod was just shrimp. This rod, we're gonna do shrimp and fish bites. Old, stinky fish bites. <laughs> I think it'll still work. What's the worst that can happen? We catch a catfish? Well, I guess we don't catch anything. That would be the worst case scenario. We don't catch a fish. All right, two rods set up, one missed fish. Let's see if we can get something for dinner. Shrimp. Oh, I got a fish on. There we go, another hit here. Let's see what we got. This is on the old stinky fish bites. It worked, but was it a catfish? Let's see what we got coming in here. I just wanted to stay on this time. Feels kind of pompano-ish. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at those head shakes, look at those head shakes. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out why my other camera's not working, so this is the only camera angle y'all got right now. I got a backup GoPro, I should be able to get that on here in a second, but this should be a pompano. Should be a pompano. It's not a pompano. It's a stinky catfish. Woo! It's crazy how much those catfish can fool you with some head shakes. Especially when you haven't been beach fishing in a while. If y'all did not know, these saltwater catfish have this spine right on top and if you get poked by that, that thing will mess you up. I like to use pliers to get them off just so I don't risk getting stabbed by one because I don't really want to fool with it. Since that was a catfish, I'm uh, kind of assuming that first one was probably also a catfish. Hopefully that's not a sign for what we have in store for us today. I'd really like to catch more than just catfish. All right, I went ahead and uh, all I did was cut the tail off that jack. Give him bleeding a little bit. We're gonna toss out shark bait here. Got my line wrapped around my rod tip. This is the yakking with jack shark rig. Powered by Mr. Frisky Fins. Y'all know we love our Frisky Fins around here. Ugh. Shark rig deployed. I'm assuming Jack is bringing his drone, which we can fly these shark baits out a little further, but while we wait on the Sleeping Beauty, I'm gonna go ahead and throw one out and see if we can get picked up. Might as well while we got some fresh bait. 
We've got another one on the winding rig. Another one on the winding rig here. See if uh, see if we get us a whiting or another little jack. This one's fighting good here. Look at Fred over there all hungry and whatnot. I think it's gonna be another jack. Hey, Fred Rico. More shark bait. I would be a little more annoyed by this if we weren't shark fishing. But since we need some shark bait, I won't complain. Y'all don't want to just sit here and watch me catch baby jacks all day, do you? I don't want to sit here and catch baby jacks all day. I like catching big fish and fish we can eat. How about y'all? We may have like a little catfish or something sitting on this rod. It's just kind of been doing the weird little bouncy bounce. I was just reeling in my bait here and I got a fish that I didn't know I had on. I don't know if he hit it on the way in. He had to have. He got us another little jack. We got Fred one and Fred two. Oh, bird fight, bird fight. Oh no, what are they doing? Oh, oh, oh. This guy hit over here. Got hit on the pompano rig. Doesn't feel very big. We might just have a thousand little jacks out here. Probably more than a thousand. Million and millions and billions. Felt like it just came off. We might have jumped. Oh, nope, there he is. There he is. He just woke up. Head shakes galore. I hope Jack likes Jacks. Got a little Jack for a little Jack. Daddy wants a pompano. What I'm about to do, I'm going to throw out another pompano rig here. But uh, next time this gets hit, or I check the bait, I'm going to tie another shark rig on this traveler rod and run two shark rigs. Since it appears to be jacks all morning, might as well increase my odds of catching a shark rather than catching little jacks. We're on over here on the traveler. This is on the rig I just threw back out with some more shrimp on there. One more fish on here. We're tying on a shark rig. And that's exactly what we're about to do. Oh, it's a white egg! <laughs> another species. Woohoo! Well, I thought I had another little jack on, but we got this little whiting. I've not had whiting in quite a while. He's like right there at keeper size. There is no limit. Let's see how long he is. Yeah, he's about 11 and a half, usually 11, 12 inches. That's kind of where I like to keep him. Otherwise, you're not getting a whole lot of meat. So we're going to throw this guy in the cooler. We're going to rig up another shark rig, throw out another shark bait, run two rigs, and uh, see if we can get us a shark on the beach. Uh, check out Jack's drone here. Big old thing. Yeah. How much weight can that thing hold? It says eight pounds, but it can go heavier. Eight pounds. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. All right, now we got two shark rigs out. Pompano rig, a whiting rig. This whiting rig keeps getting covered up in grass, so a lot of grass up here close. Kind of a pain in the buttocks. Can't tell if we got something on here or not. Might just be some grass. I saw a big pop out the corner of my eye. Wasn't sure if it got smacked. I think I just got slapped full of grass and then a wave hit it. It popped out. Oh no, there's a fish! Yay! Look at all that grass on the line too. Check it out y'all, whiting number two. That one will also keep... I know you are loving the banger video of tiny fish today. We're going to try to get a big one here on the beach too, but I'm not going to complain about taking some whiting home for a little lunch. But uh... This grass is kind of a pain in the butt. Hopefully 
Hopefully it'll kind of clear up or we can avoid it a little bit, but there we go, fish on. On the lighting rig, this was like a decent one too. Let's see what we got here. Kind of feels like the heaviest one of the morning so far. Stay on there, baby. We're running the beach like crazy. Oh, nice lighting. Heck, yeah. Y'all check out that lighting right there. Absolute stud, probably 14 inches or so. Absolute nice lighting. This one is going to be delicious. The, uh, it's been slow there for a minute. Little Jack caught some little jacks, so there's that. Yeah, that's a nice spot. Is that a dang redfish? Yeah. Heck yeah. Not a bad one. Eat. Be eating good. We can get some more shrimp out there, see if we can load us up on some whiting. Still waiting on the shark bite. Nothing, uh, nothing going yet on that, so hopefully, hopefully they'll show up. We'll see. But we're gonna keep on fishing, hang out for a little bit longer, see what else we can make happen. Uh, we got a few birds working down this way. We're gonna go throw the ES a little around. Haven't really seen any fish hitting the top or anything, but make a few casts just to see. There we go, fish on. We got one. No idea what it is. <laughs> but we're on, baby. On the ES lure. Just out here blind casting, seeing what's going on. Oh! I don't think it's a big jack or anything. He would have ripped more drag than that. Go comment down below some guesses. He's, he's a little heavy. Oh, there's a little bit of drag. Got a little fight in him. If I had to guess, I would say bluefish. Just because throwing a spoon like this, yes, lure. It's not a whole, there's not too many options of what it would be. And it'd be this size, bluefish. Yep, it is a blue. Nice. We're gonna save him for some fresh shark bait. Always nice if you can blind cast and end up with something. I did see the birds, but it's your Jack, my D hooker. Yeah, I was coming to get some pliers, but if you wanna do it barehanded, that's fine too. There you go. Yeah, living like a bass. Nice, pretty fish. Shark bait. Good bloody shark bait. Let's see if I can catch another one. There's been some giant bluefish out here this year. That, that was not one of them, but there's been like some 30 plus inches out here, which for our area is massive. I know the Northeast gets those more common, but it is definitely rare for over here in the Gulf. Fish on, another one out there right in front of the bar i let this one sink down to the bottom i was like working it back real quick I had my camera off when i got hooked up but they're like right in front of the bar i got some if you need them yeah, there's a case of them on my card if you want to top them on do you want to keep some more for your freezer yeah pretty sure it's going to be another blue fish Yes, sir. Baloo number two. We're gonna load up on shark bait now while we're here. We'll go throw them in the cooler and then get back after it. I would let them flop here, but Fred will end up stealing them, so I gotta take them over to the cooler, see if we can catch some more. All right, these bluefish seem to be right in front of the bar. In that last one, <clears throat> I let the, let the lure sink down. Worked it up off the bottom real quick. That's when he smoked it. Casting as far as I can. Got the eight foot six Ninja Dagger. 
Let it sink. Pop, 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 pop. And I'm just gonna straight retrieve back. They'll definitely hit the straight retrieve too, but that one just seemed to be a little lower in the water column. Still not seeing birds or anything, so we're just blind casting out here. Basically just hoping a skull's coming by. I've not thrown this eight foot six dagger in a long time. Huh? A what? Oh yeah? Might as well. I haven't thrown this eight foot six dagger in a while just because of the style of fishing I've been doing. But this is one of my favorite rods for casting lures. It's a really good pier rod, throwing X wraps and stuff. There we go. Hey, down here. Got us another one on here. Ah, I just spit it. There we go. We on. Stay pinned, baby. This one's a little smaller than the last two. We're just swimming in. Oh, running a little bit there. Baby blue. All right, walk this one back. Get you on, Jackie. Fish on, fish on. These blues are on fire. Oh, that one's jumping. He's a jumper. Yeah, he's still on. Come on, baby. That one's going crazy. Little blue. Spit it. Spit it. That was a big hit. That was a big hit. Oh, good fish. Good fish, y'all. <laughs> every, every time Jack walks away, I get hit. Another blue fish trying to get away. This is a bigger one here. Like right in front of that bar. He's out there jumping too. Guess we're gonna have to go shark fishing another day if we don't get one today. We're gonna have plenty of bait. You got one? Jackie got himself one. Hey. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, that's a fatty. Yeah, that's a big one. Woo! <laughs> Check out that toad. That one threw a bunch of sand at me. Man, those big ones are fun to catch. I've gotta make a trip up to the northeast and get on the big one. Hey! Fred trying to steal my fish. Oh, spinner shark. Spinner shark just jumped. A little to the, to the west, back side of the bar. We're about to go drone out some fresh baits. Saw a shark jump out past the bar. See if we can get us on a shark. Turn this good morning into a great morning. There we go. On again. I let that one sink down and then worked it off the bottom and got hit. This is so much fun, y'all. Catching these out here on the ES lures. Just casting like crazy. Now I got them. Just riding that wave in. Hey, look out there. See it? Look at him hitting the top out there. Maybe. Definitely out of casting range. There we go. Working it off the bottom. Smoking it. This is a perfect time of year if y'all are down here. Just walk the beach with a lure. Casting. Early morning is usually best, but obviously right now we're catching them too. It's about 9 o'clock. Got shots of these bluefish. Spanish. Always have an opportunity at school at Jack's this time of year. There's there's a big school of something further out there past the bar blowing up. So a lot of opportunities when this water starts cooling down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna have to go get pliers for this fella. 
We're gonna go drone out some fresh baits and try to get us on one of these sharks. All right, y'all, we're about to catch out one of these fresh blue fish. I just cut the tail off of it. See if we can get one of these big old sharks. All right, we're gonna go drop this puppy on the back side of the sandbar. See what we can get into. Trying to put a giant on the beach, on the old saltiga. Why will pack it up, guys? Brad's fish right here. I got this camera. All right. Well, that was exciting. We uh, we were packing up, trying to leave here, and uh, finally got picked up by a shark. It's been a long morning. We were supposed to leave about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock, we're still here. Just got smoked on the blue fish. Woo! Let's go. That's a good one, too. You already got the drag set right? Uh, All right, that was exciting. <laughs> I was on a phone call with, for the tackle store, and I was like, I was like, we just got bit by a shark. I was like, I don't mean bit by a shark, but <laughs> we're shark fishing. We just got ate. Got picked up. Whew. This one didn't want to run in like yours did. Oh, it took off. I was just about to grab it and it and it went off. That never happened. I think every time I go surf fishing, I'm like, maybe it'll hit as soon as I pick up. It never happens. But today it did. And those fresh blue fish were definitely the key. But, no, I was making sure my mic connected. We're good. 21. We're good. It's good. Now I got On the good. Okuma Tesoro, too. It was 20K. Jumping. Whose is going to be bigger? <laughs> If y'all haven't, I'm sure you've already seen Jack's channel. Make sure you go check it out. I'm gonna link it down below. That's little man here. Oh. Is it? Over. On the 12 foot dagger. 13 foot dagger, oh. It threw me off because it's not green. Is this one of the prototypes? Ah, uh, the last one, the heavy one. Okay. So he has two 13 footers. I thought he just had the green one. I thought this felt bigger than 12, but. Black one is a close thing, but yeah, that was the heavy one. Come on, baby. Gotta get this fish over the bar. Try to keep it out of those other people's stuff. I went up to grab the rod and went, oh, God. <laughs> Did you have a camera on? I know, I turned it off when I grabbed it. It was on. Oh, it was on? Yeah. Oh. I'm glad we stayed an extra 30 minutes. I know, my setup was like completely tangled up over there. Look at that Sputnik. <laughs> All over my braid. Don't go getting that other guy's stuff, please. Turn your head back this way, baby. There he is. He's coming back now a little bit. Well, comment down below. Let me know what kind of shark you think this is. Black tip, spinner, bull, sandbar. Too warm for sandbars. Probably a black tip. I'm hoping we stay out of this guy's stuff and I can bring him back this way. You 
You want to grab that these hookers just in case if we're beeping down here? I got one in my cart too. It's just a water key, but it'll work. Sharks swimming down here by these other people. I know. Well, I those make good thumbnails though. Yeah. Gotta catch up with a shark here. I don't know where the lines are at. You probably will be over it. Is that line out? This is really like that. You can walk over this one. Uh, okay. Oh no! I'm gonna My step over you. Throw. We've done that before. Oh, you're taking us all the way down the beach. We have to keep them now. Bring this way. That leader ain't gonna break. That's 80 pounds. Alright. That's a big shot bigger than we think. We're gonna find out here in a minute. I'm gonna make it look like a beach. Getting closer. Well, you get stuck, we're put that on your uh, rock, the rod. Alright. Burning that arm. He's right in that dirty water. Ain't much bigger than yours. I don't know about smaller. Yours is a spot weird. Ran straight at the beach. Jack getting the leader there for us. Nice black tip. Heck yeah, a little remora coming off of him. Hook right in the corner there, right where we like it. There you go, nice release. He got a hook in his mouth on the other side. Yeah, he does. Come here, bud. There you go. Whew. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. 